Hi, welcome to Plant Sciences 241 Turf Grass Lab Intro. This semester we're going to spend a lot of time doing video lectures and having hands-on activities in lab. And in order to prepare for the hands-on activities, I have, I've devised a series of video lectures that will help introduce the material that we're going to be talking about so that when we come into class we're not starting from scratch and we can use our time wisely. We're going to kick that off right at the beginning of the semester with this video lecture talking about turf grass ID and plant morphology. Plant morphology is basically a study of the plant's shape or structures in the plant that allow us to identify it correctly. Why is this important? Well there's several reasons why it's important. The first one is that oftentimes multiple species are involved in identifying turf grasses. When we come into an area that has a bunch of grass, many times there's as many as five to six different species that are located in that particular sward. And if we can't identify which grass is which, then it's very difficult for us to be able to identify the appropriate intervention strategies to resolve a particular problem. The other reason is when you are looking at a particular grass, you have to know which grass it is first in order to be able to accurately identify things like diseases and other issues. Different grasses often have different diseases, different herbicides, different fertility requirements, and so many more things that if you don't or aren't able to identify the particular turf grass, then it's going to be very difficult to identify a disease or something else that's causing a problem with it. There's several parts of a grass that we need to familiarize ourselves with. The first one is vernation, or how the leaf is arranged in the bud. And there's basically two key characteristics for vernation. It's either rolled or it's folded. So the leaf is either folded like a V or it's rolled up in the leaf. And we'll take a look at live grass samples to start seeing these structures firsthand as we get into the lab portion of the class. The growth habit, or how the plant grows and spreads, is also an important characteristic for identifying turf grasses, because most grasses only have one type of growth habit. There are three basic types. The first one is what's called a bunch type, where it just spreads by tillering out and producing extra plant stems, or sheaths, of the grass plant. The other two, the rhizome and the stolon, are basically two various forms of spreading habits. The rhizome is a series of underground plant stems that, that move through the soil and emerge uh, at some distance away from the main plant. And then a stolen type of spreading habit, which is an above ground plant stem where the plant produces a stem that moves away from the main plant and then uh, roots down and produces a new plant some distance away. The ligule is a third structure that's critically important in being able to identify turf grasses. The ligule is basically an appendage at the intersection of the leaf and sheath, so it occurs right at the base of the leaf where it emerges from the sheath. And the presence or absence of this appendage and or the appearance of this appendage, whether it's hairy or membranous, determines which grass species we're dealing with. And it's an important characteristic for being able to identify a particular turf grass. three other structures, the sheath that we've talked about with regards to how the, the leaf is rolled or folded inside of it, is the structure where the leaves form and emerge. The sheath doesn't play a major role in the identification of turf grasses except for how we use it to determine vernation, which is how that leaf is arranged inside the sheath. The venation, or the type of veins in a leaf, generally come in two shapes, ribbed and mid-ribbed. Ribbed is a series of small veins across the entire leaf width, whereas the midrib is usually a prominent vein in the center of the leaf. The leaf tip shape is also uh, important in identifying turf grasses, and this is how the leaf ends. There are three basic types, a boat shape, which is kind of formed almost as, the, as a tip of the canoe, a pointed shape, which is where the leaf is ending in a, in a more uh, pointed end, or a blunt shape where the leaf is rounded and forms a blunt end to the, to the leaf tip. These structures are important for being able to identify turf grasses, and if we're able to do that, then we can identify the grasses and determine what needs to be done. So on Wednesday, we're going to be doing a turf tour. 
and we need to do that turf tour out at our plant sciences farm. So we're going to meet at the UT Plant Sciences Farm, which is located on Alcoa Highway, south of campus, just across the street from a large church and equipment rental facility. So if you take Alcoa Highway south from campus, on the right-hand side, a couple of miles down, you'll see the Plant Sciences Farm. Follow the gravel path around to the right, and then make a left on the first, uh, at the first left you can see the main building and we'll meet there at 3.30. Finally, I want you to be prepared to review the anatomy and morphology tab at a website called the Turf Grass Identification Tool. You can either Google Turf Grass Identification Tool and locate the Turf Grass Identification Tool at Purdue University or the website is www.agny.purdue.edu slash turf slash tool slash index.html. And by locating that turf grass identification tool and looking at anatomy and morphology, I want you to be prepared to tell us which part of turf grass anatomy is the hardest for you to understand and be able to tell us why. And we'll see you in class on Wednesday. Thanks.